and I'm gonna make another eye patch. Now there's no one here yet, which is fine. That's ground. I always start with no one here, and that's good. So, I'm gonna make try and make the process a little bit smoother, seeing as I still have to make the, uh, the eye patch from scratch with uh, with Warbler. So I've made this little template for um, helping me with making all of my marking and cutting, which should hopefully speed things up. Um, and yeah, yeah, let's 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 begin. Let's begin. Now I'm sure people will start signing in soon and uh, and talking, but I'm gonna get right down to things because this took me three hours last time, and. Um, I'm hoping to cut cut a little off that, you know, just just take make it a little bit shorter. Which, you know, the fact that I now know I need two layers of warbler to make a uh, rigid enough patch should help with. I can mark out everything all at once. And then I can make it. So hopefully that's going to speed things up. I'm going to mark out the leather as well. So now let's see. This needs to be the back. So all right. Oh, this is tricky. Um, what way do I have to do this? Um, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Now, if I've gotten this right, the cutting, this is um, our material for the front panel, by the way. It is some lovely salmon skin leather that has been dyed turquoise. I got this on Etsy. Um, I'll probably put a link to the shop in the, in the video description when I upload this. Yeah, who knows? Alright, so... For, you're going to be the front, so you actually need to be flipped. Alright. Now hopefully I have done this correctly. Yeah, no, that should be fine. That should be fine. That should be fine. Should be fine. Famous last words. I didn't actually buy the fish skin leather for this. I bought this for um, a character that I play. Uh, the character's name is Krahor. Uh, Krahor de Nuana. And Krahor is a drake blooded and a sailor. So. I got this because drake blooded in uh, the. LARP um, five oaths. They always have to have scales on their face because it's a LARP, so you've got to represent it. So I bought this so I can make I could make some um, prosthetic scales that were actual scales. This is too small. Um, this is too small. This is one hundred percent too small. So. That means my template is too small. So, we're going to fix that. I probably should have cut out something shit first, something I didn't care about, um, and done an experiment. In fact, I will be doing that next time uh, I have to make a template like this. Um, let's 
see. Does this actually match up here? Not really. Not really. There is a lot of leftover space there. So I made the template badly. That's okay. We'll make a new one. I haven't cut anything out yet using it, so it's all right. See how you fit into that. Yeah, you don't. You're too small for that. Okay. Okay. So why don't I just try this? For now, anyway. I've done a few TikToks with Krahor. Um, I haven't used, gotten to actually play the character at a game yet or anything. I haven't been on TikTok in literal months. I should probably fix that at some point. I just haven't felt the inclination. I haven't even like looked at other people's TikToks in a long while. Still no one here. Unusual. Unusual. Okay, well. Let's try cutting this out again, and uh, not making a mess of it this time. I'm doing this entirely wrong anyway. Shit. Oh well, too late. Okay. I'll have to come up with some other use for those two pieces. <sighs> what I've forgotten with this template, with this entire template idea, is that I'm tracing them from the core I've used for the warbler. But the problem with that is it doesn't it take into account the space I leave at the sides for the tabs. So there, it's, it's, it's entirely useless, even if it were the right size. It's useless. Wonderful. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the space for the tabs to this template. And then I'm gonna cut that out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do pretty much everything uh, again. Wish me luck. Still very surprised we have absolutely no one, but oh well.
type of it. Okay, so much for saving time, but now we have the new template. not do this run again right yeah you need to be flipped to do it right yeah, am I sure about that? a little longer than I usually do it but it's about the right shape no it, it's fine it's, it's fine ask me if it's fine it's 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 fine it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Did Captain Nemo have an eye patch? I don't remember. I haven't seen 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea in years. I love that movie. It's so good. A whale of a tale to tell you lies. A whale of a tale, it's true. Swear by my tattoo. Where it works. It's going to be very hard placing it over <laughs> this extremely textured eye patch, but it gets across the uh, the main point for me. Okay. Now let's try this side. This time I have a, um, I'm not adding anything additional to the front panel, or at least I'm not planning to initially. If I feel like it needs it, I have something that can go on, but I don't think it's going to need it. Um, and unlike last time, I've already picked out a nice complementary thread color so I'm not gonna have to run inside and find one okay so yep front and back panels have been made so what we need to do now is cut out the core and then shape it where did I put the um, huh 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 
Aha. There it is. Okay. I'm going to just double check that there's um that there's nobody actually there. Just make sure it's not just the chat not working properly for me. Because you never know, it might be. No, zero viewers. Grand. Just make it. Yeah, okay. No, it's working. Grand. Okay. Alright, so. Let's cut out the core. Z. And no, not the, uh, not the band that consisted of, uh, the Irish band that consisted of two rather attractive sisters and their, um, and their all fresh conspiracy theorist fairly useless brother. still had the stream open on my phone and was hearing myself talk, but in the past. Oh, we have- oh, well, that one viewer is almost certainly me. <laughs> if it's not me, feel free to sound off in the chat. If it's me, I can go fuck myself. two parts of the core ready so I'm gonna grab the heat gun and I'm gonna fuse them together and then I'm gonna mold them into shape So I think they're uh, they're fused together. So now I'm going to try and get them into shape.
That went far more smoothly than the first time than last week. So I'm just gonna let those cool. Well, while they cool, let's measure out the um, let's measure out the thing. Watch them call it strap. Words, I know. I words, I words good. I words very good. <sighs> so again, we're using nylon dog lead. I haven't gotten a chance to replenish my uh, supply of the uh, colors, so again, we're building a strap from scratch. This time, I think we'll be able to get a good chunk of the strap done while the um, while the warbler cools. While the warbler cools, that sounds like the uh, the title of a book. Something like some kind of existentialist Russian novel or something. While the war the tools. Yeah, while the world look cools, it's like a, a novel that Dostoevsky would have written if he were a cosplayer. <sighs> I think this patch is going to be done relatively quickly. Um, Stuff like that and it's really really cool oh there's red hello red we were talking about you earlier not too long ago and how great you are and the fact that I'm actually very proud of you so fuck you I hope your break is going well. I hope you enjoy your break. Oh no, Thread, don't do the thing. I hate it when you do the thing, Thread. Don't do the thing. <laughs> I love you too, dear. Okay. I think the most sensible thing to do here, the thread is doing the thing. You know where it knots itself and then you can't pull it through the hole anymore. So I think what I'll do is I'll try to cut it here and tie it off. And then continue sewing. This is the thing that always makes my projects take longer. When the thread does the thing.
Gotcha. That's that's kind of the beginning of it. <laughs> Oh, and the thread, it does the thing. Oh, and the thread, it does the thing. How I hate the fucking thread. When the thread, it does the thing. Oh, it does the thing. It does the thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing here. Come on. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Felt like performing microsurgery. What I need is a tiny surgical robot. That would be cool. Just a tiny surgical robot to help me do my sewing. Did you? Did you? <laughs> there we go. It does the thing. Oh, and the thread, it does the thing. How I hate it when the thread. When the thread, it does the thing. It does the thing. It does the thing. Okay. So the very next eye patch I do you're cute. So the very next eye patch I do is going to be tree bark. Um, which I think works. The, the, the theme for that one is cryptozoologist. And I think tree bark works for a cryptozoologist eye patch. Um, the two others, uh, I have themes for them. For the two after that, but I don't actually have an idea on what to do exactly. The themes for the other two are, um, whatchamacallit, literally Odin, uh, which I'm going to be, because in, in Norse mythology, a lot of the time, Odin, uh, he'd go wandering the Nine Realms, but he'd disguise himself. And the disguise Odin would normally have would be like, an old man in like in a hat and cloak and and with a staff and you know he was the origin of the wizard archetype um so that's the kind of odin i'd be going for so not entirely sure what to do for that and the other one is um is scavenger just like a, a post-apocalyptic scavenger so I, I i have a vague idea about like bits of scrap metal but no nothing nothing clear and coherent so i'll have to work those two out as we get closer to that time If you have any ideas, please throw them my way.
That's extremely fair. That's extremely fair. So, like, um, kind of Mad Maxian. Um, yeah, kind of Mad Maxian. I'm thinking, like, because I'm a fucking parody of myself, I'm gonna throw a lot of, um, Corvid vibes into it, lots of kind of crow things, so there's gonna be like kind of tattery black cloak and a, a big black hood and stuff. Um, but like someone who, who, who makes their living just, and who, who keeps themselves alive scavenging, just uh, just picking through the debris, hence, hence the crow vibes, because that's what crows do. It's all, it's all very thematically planned. It's all very, uh, very thought out. You, you, you can tell. Um, but yeah, Mad Maxion, which is why I was, I was thinking maybe the, um, bits of metal bolted together. But I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit looser than I'd like down at the bottom there. I might go over that. <laughs> Maybe our scavengers can be friends. I'm even kind of considering making a weapon for it, but, um, like, I have a post-apocalyptic weapon, just a prop, not one I'd actually use because it's a, it's an axe made out of a baseball bat and a buzzsaw blade, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you have to post-apocalyptic characters. I, I, I want to see them. First of all, I'm looking forward to that. Second of all, post-apocalyptic is a really good genre. What I say about me, you eat. What? What? What are you? What? What? <laughs> what? Oh. I don't think I said any. Did I say anything? I don't think I said anything about you. <laughs> yeah, I've got some foam bats lying around. Um, oh, actually, doing yeah, yeah. That's 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 not a bad idea. Redoing that in in foam. I hadn't thought of that. I might try that. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be a bad project. I do have a couple of foam bats just lying around taking up space. Alright. <laughs> I was saying in the last, um, in the last live stream actually that I think foam crafting is is actually extremely impressive um because I see what a lot of people do with foam instead of using leather and I use I do a lot of leather work myself I'm, I'm doing it now and like in a lot of ways the foam crafting looks more difficult than leather working. 
it looks more challenging. Um, so I've got um, I've got a lot of admiration for foam smiths because like it feels like they're 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 doing it out of like either love for the craft or for for ethical reasons and that they're they're doing this much more time consuming um effort intense process and i've got a lot of respect for that well of course i mean like when they're replicating leather because they're not always replicating leather <laughs> But, um, still, there's a lot of respect. Because it does not look easy. I imagine it is cheaper, or at least, um, can be, because, um, i mean, honest, I get most of my leather for, for cheap or free, because the vast majority of the leather I use is secondhand. It's, it's old jackets, it's old handbags, I am not, um, I am not above skinning, going out, looking for people throwing away furniture and skinning a couch um the wild and the, the wily and elusive uh, uh feral couch <laughs> um oh, that's better i'm gonna go over the rest why not So yeah, for me, a lot of the time, leather is very cheap or free. But that's only because I'm a dirty, filthy scavenger. Um, like, doing leather work and actually, like, getting proper sources for your leather, that's extremely expensive. I don't know if I might be able to start affording that now. I, I don't know. It's it's so hard like when when you've when you've grown up in the mindset of making do with what you have and making do with the cheapest things available it's very difficult getting into the mindset that you you don't have to do that anymore um very difficult And I'm, I'm still working on that. I'm still trying to ascertain where I fucking am now financially. Like, I, I work a minimum wage job. <laughs> or no, 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 no. I'm not on minimum wage anymore. I, I get um, I got a raise, so it's now fifteen cent above minimum wage. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still trying to, still trying to work out what that means. Like even when I was on minimum wage, I'd spent my life before that living on disability. So even just being on minimum wage, I was making more money than I'd ever had before in my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go do it, Dan. You make that bot. <laughs> I 
how how do you um how do you reinforce the uh the 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 wings the edges of the axe that's the thing that would be that would be causing me difficulty that would be holding me up still trying to work out how I would do that okay so that's sewn I've got to do the gluing Yeah, yeah. I imagine I imagine that would be part of it. Um cuz if it doesn't go out very far, then you probably don't even need to really put any support in. But if you wanted it um to be like a big broad axe or something like that, you'd probably have to reinforce it quite a bit. And I'm just wondering how that would be done. Cuz of I've handled LARP axes that had the big broad heads, but I've no idea how they uh, actually supported the big broad head. Okay. Alright, that, that makes a lot of sense. So, um, you'd want a higher density foam in the core, like, like a foam sandwich. Um, okay. Yeah, that, that makes an awful lot of sense. If I ever do end up making the uh, the LARP safe version of the Bat Axe, I will be I will be crediting you for how I figured it out. One hundred percent. Gotta let this glue dry so uh, the back of the patch doesn't press against my fucking face. Because I hate it when that happens. It's bad for your eye, but it's also very uncomfortable. And that's. I'm gonna be honest, the first time I made an eye patch and I did that gluing job, it was just because it was uncomfortable. I didn't know it was bad for my eye. But now I do know it. And um, I'm very glad I did it that way. But my primary concern was comfort. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Alright. I can put the glue away. I'm gonna grab my belt punch. I'll be back in one moment. There's the rest of the strapping. Have fun, my love. I'll see you later. Okay. Gotta take the patch off again so I can uh, make strap comparisons.
How was this done the last time? I believe it went something like this. No, that feels wrong. That feels extremely wrong. I'm going to grab one of my other patches that has a similar um, style of, of attachment. I'll be back in a moment just so I can make comparisons. Never mind, I was 100% correct. Never mind. <sighs> okay. So, in that case. In that case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch the hole in this and rivet it. Um. The method I actually use for for putting a hole in the nylon strap is something I learned from a YouTuber I no longer follow uh, because he turned out to be a right-wing Trump supporter. Um, <laughs> but then I s probably should have expected that, seeing as he is a uh, <laughs> he is a white American and his entire channel was about building weapons and armor to survive the inevitable apocalypse. I should have put two and two together there, but I did not. But he did teach me this import this uh, very useful method, which is you use a soldering iron uh, upon high heat, and you poke it through the nylon strap, and that not only makes a hole in it, but it also seals the hole so it doesn't unravel. Goddamn! I, I wish it wasn't such useful advice. I'm just gonna let the uh, the thing heat up. Yeah, it does suck. It absolutely sucks. <sighs> All right. So we're almost done on on this eye patch. Um, all we need to do is finish the straps and attach them. 
so we're going to be done very shortly. So far, I haven't had to restrike, restrike, restart the stream once, which is a first. Um, did I have to on the storytelling stream? I can't remember. Um, but yeah. waiting for the soldering iron to heat up now. This is a nice one. It's got a little indicator on it that tells you when it's ready. This is very useful. Are you actually working though? Maybe this isn't heating up at all and I've burnt out another soldering iron. Hopefully not. You're going to fail. Why did you fail? Yeah! Yeah, thank you. I love that. That would be very useful. Thank you. <sighs> Worn out faces. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that doesn't need anything. If I added to that, it would ruin it. You know what's kind of making me want to do now, though? It's kind of making me want to make a turtle shell eye patch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you warming up? You're not. Shit. This was a really good soldering iron to... Now it's, now it's warming up. I don't know what was wrong with it. <sighs> yeah, when this one is done, this one's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna start wearing this one uh, around. Um, I'm I'm really liking how it's turning out. <sighs> I'm trying to make the best of the whole Cyclops thing. <laughs> you may have, you may have noticed. Um, I just hope it doesn't spread to the other eye. 
because then all my eye patches will be useless. And also I'll be blind. And I'd rather not be blind. You know. I wonder though, if I'd known all this was going to happen, would I have skipped getting the laser eye surgery and spent the money on Tom Waits tickets instead? Because that may have been my only chance to go see Tom Waits in concert. Who knows? Dan, have you seen the movie Nine? It's kind of, it's described as stitch punk. It's a very good movie. Let me know if you've seen it. I really like it. can smell the uh, the plastic melting. There we go. <laughs> I think you'd like it. Um, it's very, very cool. Um, like, the, the storyline is fairly, like, alright. Like, is nothing amazing. But the, uh, the visuals. The visuals are stunning. And the creature design. Oh, the creature design. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. Like, I, I will watch it just for the creature design. They're absolutely gorgeous. this up after getting it right the first time. Uh, I'm 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 a sucker for good creature design. I I love a well designed creature. That's one of the things I didn't like about um about Blue Man Group Avatar rather than good Windy Boy Avatar. Um I didn't like the creature design. I thought it was actually pretty bad. Um oh, okay. Like, I couldn't imagine any of those creatures actually living. The 
the uh, the creatures in the uh, in the good Windy Boy Avatar though they they were good. I can I could picture those. They seemed like well designed creatures. Then again, they were mostly just hybrids of real creatures. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You should. You absolutely should. Then you can tell me what you do like about it and what you don't. Because, like, there's, there's a lot to... There's, there's a lot of both. There's a lot of both. Turtle duck! Oh, I love the turtle ducks. My favorite creature from, from Good Windy Boy Avatar was, um... Badger moles. I love badger moles. Okay. All right. I can put in the rivets. Get the whole thing riveted together. And we're done. We'll be finished. Finito. Ba 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 better moles. <laughs> Hate the fats, but love the sounds. <laughs> or do you mean the ones from Legend of Korra? Badger moles digging holes under a public city. Gotta get away from Kavira today, though I still think she is pretty. Both. <laughs> ba -ba 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 Let's see if it fits. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's quite loose. <laughs> I know that feeling. Now this is quite loose, but um, that's okay. That's why the uh, that's why the strap has an adjustable size. Much better. All right. Okay. All right. I'm liking this. I'm actually. I'm actually very happy with this. This is. This is cool. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. Where's my little pen thing? Um. I think I'm gonna call it here. Thank you very much for hanging out with me, Dan. Um, it is always lovely to spend time with people while I'm working on my projects. And we don't get to hang out very much, you and I. Um, we don't really get to get to chat that much, so I, I appreciate getting to, to chat with you. I I think you're, you're 
I, I, I admire you a lot. I think you're, you're just so incredibly multi-talented. Um, so it was nice getting to, uh, getting to have a, a little bit of a chat and a little bit of a hangout. But, um, yeah, I'm tired and I have more to do this evening. Um, some friends of mine and I are putting together a, uh, a storytelling stream for later in the, in the month and we need to test the, uh, the systems for doing it because we haven't done that the last time and it didn't work out very well. <laughs> so we're, um, we're going to do that now, um, in a, in an hour or so. And I suppose at some point I should have dinner. And I should definitely feed the cats. But yeah, for now, um, I'm I'm gonna sign out. Thank you for the for the wish of luck. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna head off. So I will see you the next time you are around. Um, I will feed everyone, including the me. Um, <laughs> why? Streamlabs, no, I don't want to upgrade to Prime. There we go. There's the button. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>